Zoom unifies cloud video conferencing and simple online meetings into one easy-to-use platform. The Zoom PWA allows you to use some of the same features available on the desktop client or mobile app within a modern web browser. In this video, you will learn how to sign in and how to navigate the Zoom PWA. We'll also cover in-meeting controls and how to access settings. Before we begin, please note that Zoom for Chrome is available on Google Play. Also, admins can instead deploy the PWA through the Google Admin Console rather than allowing their users access to the Google Play Store. And the Zoom PWA is available on Firefox, Edge, and Safari browsers. Just navigate to pwa.zoom.us forward slash WC. After launching the Zoom PWA, you can click Join Meeting to join a meeting without signing in, or you can click Sign In to sign in and start or schedule your own meeting. To sign in, use your Zoom, Apple, Google, Facebook, or SSO credentials. If you have a Zoom account but can't remember your password, click on Forgot Password. Once you're signed in, you'll see the following tabs. Home, Team Chat, Phone, if assigned and enabled, Meetings, Contacts, and Whiteboards, if enabled. Let's take a closer look at each tab. The Home tab is where you will see options centered around meetings. You can start an instant meeting, join a meeting in progress, or schedule a meeting. The Team Chat tab contains your chats and channels. Here you can chat with contacts, share files and screenshots, set and check message reminders, and more. From the Phone tab, you can see your call history, voicemails, lines, and SMS. You'll also be able to place and receive your Zoom phone calls. The Meetings tab lists your upcoming meetings and webinars. Clicking on an upcoming meeting provides more information and options, such as starting the selected meeting. The Contacts tab lets you view and manage your contacts. A directory of all your contacts and user groups is displayed, and if your organization has Zoom rooms, you will also see a list of Zoom rooms. The Whiteboards tab shows your whiteboards and lets you create a new blank whiteboard or create one from one of the many available templates. If you do not see the Whiteboards tab, please contact your account administrator to have this feature enabled. Once you have started or joined a meeting, you can access the meeting controls located at the bottom of the meeting window. These controls include managing participants, share screen, chat, record, show captions, and more. And of course, you'll have your audio and video buttons to manage your audio and video in your meeting. While in a meeting or webinar, you can click More in the Meeting Controls, then click Settings. There you can adjust audio, video, and virtual background settings, further customizing your meeting experience to suit your devices and needs. You can find more information on this and other topics by visiting our support center at support.zoom.us. Thank you for watching.